Hey guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. So guys, this is a bit of an update what's wrong with me video because you would have noticed that I didn't actually post over the weekend. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that I was going off some pretty strong tablets. So these tablets are, were two tablets I used to control neuropathy, which for those who don't know, is one of my disabilities slash health conditions. So I have epilepsy, which many people will be familiar with. I have ADHD. I also have a brain injury. And on top of that brain injury, I have nerve damage. And as well as that, I have Sjogren's Syndrome. Sjogren's Syndrome is a form of autoimmune arthritis and it's quite hard to describe because it's not the typical effects of arthritis. It's dry eyes, dry mouth. Um, basically, your glands that produce things, so your exocrine glands, excrete things. It could be hormones, it could be sweat don't actually work properly. And uh, the biggest thing that I've had to give up is my afternoon coffee. So guys, I'm actually celebrating because one of these tablets made me really badly doughy to the point that I would be trying to control the pain at night through go to sleep podcasts, through meditation, through heat through sensory sheets all types of things uh, nothing worked so the GP did try to put me on these tablets but through the neurologist I was also on a lot of other medication the two interacted and just made me essentially for the past six months and looking back you can actually see it in my videos actually made me a walking zombie. Um, for those of you who want to know, it's a Marilyn Monroe cup. Um, I got it for Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, really nice to drink out of. So to the sister who gave it to me, thank you. Um, guys, um, the Sjogren's and the epilepsy, we don't really play much of a impact in my life. It is more the ADHD and the brain injury. Because as you guys have heard on the channel, me say a lot, I would love a job or I would love the channel to be monetized. As much as I would like that to be true, I know that my body needs to heal itself. And one thing that I'm now going to look at starting to do, uh, you guys are welcome to come on the journey with me, is healing through sound and healing through food. Um, I'm not going to restrict food because it is coming up to Easter and Anzac Day. And there is some very traditional foods in Australia around Easter and Anzac Day. And got... In fact, Americans in the chat, if you want me to do a Making Anzac Biscuits video, let me know as well. And the other thing, and this I just want to say to my fellow disabled watchers and support workers, I was having a chat to people saying that this impacts my life, this impacts my life, this impacts my life. And they were saying, but you do more for the community than you think. So you do more with guides, with being a role model for the disabled community. Let me tell you, I don't feel like a good role model. I question myself every step of the way. I know I'm not perfect. Through um, I do bits and pieces when I can through the Wilderness Society as well. Um, I also make bookmarks for my nephew's school. And as you can see behind me, I've got my sewing machine out. So I'm in the process of sewing Easter presents. 
And guys, you can hear it now. And um, going back to the tablets, you could actually see it in the videos how much the tablets were affecting me. So I, the slow speech, the disorganized speech, me having to look at scripts instead of being able to memorize them was all tablet side effects. And so I know this isn't my usual fare, but given that my previous position before I got sick and rage quit a good job, um, I was actually a pharmacy assistant. I learned a little bit about medication, but the biggest thing I learned is that medication safety, especially with people with disabilities, is so important. No matter your level of function and cognition, you need to be aware that all medicine has side effects. Um, some of those side effects are called effects. They're what we want the medication to do. Some of it has bad side effects, and that's what we call side effects. Um, the tablets I were on, I was prescribed, I was on for a reason, but just weren't effective for me. And I, guys, I'd love you guys to drop in the comments below what are your stories around medications, around natural therapies, around natural health, especially if you're in Australia and on NDIS as well. And guys, even if you're a support worker, drop it in the comments. Um, I would love to hear from the other side. What policies and procedures do you have to insurance client safety? And do you think they're too onerous, not onerous enough? Do you think in the certificate courses, there is enough training around medication? Um, I'd love to team up with a pharmacist, get a pharmacist on the channel and talk about medication safety. And guys, um, I will be doing a bit of a different blog post um, in getting organised now that I'm through this tablet drama, let's call it that. And I'll have that one up on the blog it's probably by this afternoon of me just getting my living space organised. I do actually now have permission to show that on film as well, or certain sections of it, because we need to normalise disability. And even when we've still got doctors saying about the gentrification of disability, We've got politicians whinging about the disability burden of the NDIS. But no one's questioning where the money for the nuclear subs are coming from as well. It's Guys, it's actually coming from the NDIS. Um, guys, please like, share, subscribe. All free really helps the channel to be seen by the algorithm. And if you've made it to the end, Thank you, guys, and know that you guys are appreciated and that if you're a person with a disability, you are loved, you are valued, you matter. See you in the next video.